Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. If you love scrapbooking, then stick around because we're going to make a fun layout featuring this stamp set titled A World with Octobers and the Pumpkin Spice Paper Collection. I have a few of the papers from that collection here on my desk. You can see they're double-sided and just such a pretty color palette and yummy fall-inspired patterns. So pretty. This is a layout inspired by artwork from the catalog. I'm going to dress it up a bit with this Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray in the color Gilt. So shake it up really well. This is really fun to use. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it today. When I'm doing any type of messy work, I like to lay down my all-purpose mat. This protects your work surface. Or you can use what we like to call a pizza box. So it's kind of like the size of a pizza box. But when you're close to my heart goodies, come in here, save these boxes. You can see I got a button stuck to the bottom. I can't get that off. But um, these are great for any type of splatter or mixed media type projects. Um, so you can see I've drawn a circle. I used one of my Pyrex dish lids to create that circle gone around with a pencil no big deal it's just going to be a guide and then I'm going to bring back in that pizza box and you know honestly at first I was thinking of spraying it but I can't quite get it to spray in a little amount so I'm just splattering lots of generously splattering lots of this gilt um, gloss spray just by tapping the little nozzle here and we're following loosely following that circular pattern around the cardstock now this does take a few minutes to dry, but when it does dry, it's this beautiful, shiny gold. Perfect for fall, gorgeous for Christmas, and in fact, mm, I'm thinking of a Christmas layout idea in my head right now. But for this one, we're going to incorporate this pattern paper from the current mixing collections. These are a gorgeous collection of plaids that are designed to go along with both the pumpkin spice and the holly and ivy Christmas um, paper that's in the same catalog. So I'm going to gut that out so I'm not wasting that paper. You can see I've done that off camera. Now again, I'm inspired by some artwork in the catalog, which I'll show you here in just a second. They have created this super fun fall wreath. Now you guys know me, I'm going to mix it up a bit with my embellishments, but I have this photo of my kitty. I call her Toad. I know it's kind of a funny name, but it fits her. So I've matted this on Harbor cardstock. This is a four by four photo. And now I've cut a bunch of strips and also some of the branding strips. And these are measuring anywhere from like an inch and a half to two inches. This is why it'd be fantastic for leftovers because, I mean, really, you're using just tiny bits of paper. So I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not doing any fancy measuring. I kind of just roughly, like I said, anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches. You could also use like your little guillotine um, trimmer here, scissors, whatever works best for you, and then cut a bunch of strips and organize them into color piles. Now to get started, I'm going to kind of create a visual triangle with those colors and then just repeat the pattern in each section. I don't want it exactly matchy matchy and I'm not following the pattern papers in the catalog because I didn't cut the exact same ones. Um, you know, similar, but not exact same. So this way, we're just kind of making sure that those colors are distributed evenly around the circle and you don't have a concentration of one color in any one area, kind of dominating it or drawing your eye. This helps carry your eye around the circle. Hopefully that makes sense. We don't have to have this perfectly circular wreath. I want it to be very kind of um, like a handmade project. Well, it is. So it's okay that it looks that way. So I've kind of tidied those up and now I feel like it needs to come inward. So I'm going to condense all that down into a tighter, tighter circle. And I think that looks better with more white space around the outside. So I have my Tombow liquid glue and I'm using liquid glue because it's going to allow me to wiggle those strips into shape. And just so you guys don't have to watch that process, I just went around on the inner portion of the circle, lifting those up and running a bead of glue. Now the World with October stamp set, if you guys caught my card making video from Tuesday, you know I colored these in with the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. I used the vintage blue and the burnt orange and then this one here is the fair skin and I thought it made such a pretty color combo for these pumpkins and it really helps them pop and gives them that 3D feel with the different tones. Now there's this Hey There Pumpkin sentiment 
This is from the Pumpkin Spice Scrapbooking Stamp, and that's going to kind of be my title. I'm inking this up in Scarlet Ink, and we'll stamp it on the white daisy cardstock here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my microtip scissors and fussy cut that out. It wasn't quite dark enough, so I'm flipping the paper over to get a better image. So I've gone ahead and cut that out, and I think that's gonna look cute right over the bottom of the corner of the photo. There. I wanna add a few more embellishments. In the current Slimline celebration promotion going on, there's this stamp set called Thoughtful Critters, and I think these little woodland creatures go just really go well with fall. So I like the little squirrel there, and I'm adding him sitting on top of the pumpkin, and these wooden stickers are super cool. I'm going to put a little wooden heart in each of the clusters because I love my kitty. I'm thinking we need a little something in that blank space to the left of the photo. I thought, maybe my picture my life card so I pulled out the smaller ones and I'm thinking about maybe that would be cute we'll consider that one for a bit I'm thinking maybe a bigger title or journaling block might be a good idea that one might work hmm, in good company might work and yeah I think I'm going to narrow it down to these three I do like this one I love the pumpkins on the bottom but maybe a journaling card would be better so we'll try this one maybe this one and let's straighten that up real quick and yep that's it we have a winner the little title in good company is actually perfect because my cat is great company and i had just decorated the front porch for fall and i brought in this little red wagon and put the pumpkins and i had some corn stalks and things like that and and my little kitty toad was kind of enchanted with the new uh fall decor and was just there everywhere i looked she was like in the wagon she was on the pumpkin <laughs> she just was really enjoying it keeping me company so this turned out super cute i love those pumpkin colors and super easy to do great for scraps and we'll bring that one in so you can see the different changes that i made to make it my own Thank you guys for hanging with me all the way to the end. I do want to share some exciting news. For those of you that haven't heard, the creative design team is hosting the 31 Days of Christmas cards beginning October 1st. Right now, registration is open. There's early bird pricing for $31 until September 20th, and then it goes up to $49. So you're going to want to take advantage of that. Every day during the month of October, you will be treated to an exclusive video sharing a new Christmas card full of tips and techniques and tons of inspiration. You can find all the information in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye!